Welcome to This Week in Marketing, where Coach Jason Pantan and I help you modernize your marketing, build your brand, and ultimately win more business. Super excited to talk today about short form video with three absolute monsters. So one of the questions I got asked on uh, my Instagram stories was, God, if, you're, if you were sitting in a room with like 25 of the most influential video first marketeers, right? Like what, what questions would you ask? And one of the questions that came up over and over again was like, well, what are like the next 10 videos I should shoot? What are the five mm. most important things I should do? And and I, I, I'm just, first of all, I'm just curious how all of you would respond to that. I would say um, I would start with myths and just glaring issues within your industry that are just misconstrued by consumers and mm -hmm. misunderstood, you know, like different things within our industry, like Credit Karma and how what they show on Credit Karma as far as the score is vastly different from what lenders pull and just different things that can shine a light on information and provide value to the consumer, right. um, you know, in a short- so it's like Credit Karma to Zillow's estimate, right? Like Yeah, Asian, different things like that. Connection, yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. All right, so I love that answer. What would you say? I would introduce myself. I, I would introduce the personality, what I did. Please allow me to. <laughs> exactly. Yes, I love that. I, I yes. would. I, I would not even do it to that song. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I wouldn't do that. Except they'd be like, "He's the devil." <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do the point thing, but I would honestly be very frank and you honest. Like that one. Yeah. <laughs> She's like I credit would. karma Zillow's estimate. She's gonna do that video for sure. Yeah. You better tag me. I will, I, I, but I, I love that. And that, so that's the thing is like, it came to me in this moment, you said myths and I was like, oh, wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, you got right, that's I, perfect I, example. Right, yeah, right. I need to understand that. And so I'm sitting here thinking, does he have anything written in these sheets of paper? Let me just go ahead and make a note. <laughs> no, those are the only These are all the questions I wanted to ask you guys. Yeah, and I was just, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and make that note because if uh -huh. I don't, I'll Smart. forget it. Yeah. Smart. And that's the thing, it's it's in that moment. You have to you capture, capture, capture that that's it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and so I want to write it, mm -hmm. and then then that way I'll be able to go back because I'll I'll text it to Denver, and Denver will say you sent me a tax credit Karma's Carmazillo, and then I'll be able to go. Yeah, and so for me that's what really important. So so your at least your first of the next ten videos is Credit Karma is Credit Karma and the Zillow's estimate the same thing? So some, some algorithms, right? Yeah. So yeah. but right. this tells yeah. you like I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I have been looking at houses, you know, thinking about buying a house mm -hmm. and, um, you know, my credit karma score is, you know, a gazillion, very, it's so high. 980. And um, somehow, some way, a doctor sent a $197 bill to collections. And so it's $197. I just paid it. I didn't realize it. Mm -hmm. Went to the different address, blah, blah. And so I was talking to my lender and he goes, did you have a medical payment go to collections? And I said, oh yeah, it was $197. I paid it as soon as it showed up. Mm -hmm. And he goes, it dropped your score a hundred points. Good Lord. Now wow. I'm yeah. a real estate agent talking shit about real estate on TikTok right. every day. Right. And I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Tell me you've told that story on TikTok. Uh, no, but I'm gonna. Right, you right. have to. Right, because yeah. that's yeah. that's a good example for it mortgage is. and like, hey, it could happen that can, fast. And, and it, it shows you're real. Anybody. And it could happen to anybody. 100%. Yeah, right? Yeah. But I, I would go to personal, so, but yeah. I, I think, to be self -aware. I think you got to be self-aware. I think you got to be self-aware. Well, that's your because thing. Because our first, yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. But then right. your thing is, is getting into the myths and breaking down the frequently asked questions. Right. Yours is the background of your life and how you've gone throughout your career. See, storytelling. I'm, storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. I've had to dive into my military career, Department of Corrections, because right. I don't have the real estate career. Right. right. You know, I dive into some of my basketball and like high school going into college. So, so like, but I feel there's just, uh, with all three of us, people know who we are right. as a person. Right. Yeah. They can walk up to you at a right. restaurant. Yeah. I, I won't, it's a running joke with my wife of how many times I'll get recognized when we travel. Like went yeah. to the Little Rock Zoo and two people stopped us and hugged me randomly, which I'm not, a, please don't hug me if you see me, please. That's really weird. Feel free uh, to hug me. I'm a you hugger. You can hug Glenda. <laughs> Ask for the hug. All I want to do is hug him now. Yeah. I'm cool with It's hugs. like Byron with Consensual. a dog. Consensual. <laughs> I, I just want to like, here's my dog, Byron. Consensual <laughs> hugs are super cool. <laughs> yes. But Consensual. random ass hugs from strangers at a zoo I'm not from is very odd. <laughs> <laughs> it's very odd, I'll put it that way. But uh, you gotta know yeah. who you are. I think self-awareness is something that so many people- So what if they yeah. wrote down like uh, 10 of the funniest moments in real estate? You know, oh yeah. 10 of the, 10 the, of the biggest clients. mistakes that I saw yep. during a transaction. Yeah. Five of the craziest, without ever saying their name, by the way. Never say yeah, their don't name. Don't ever, but, like, name. but people love stories. And people also love tragedy that yeah. turns into triumph. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about this deal is about to go south. 
and how we solved it. And, oh, we're all, right? we're all telling stories house. in just a different or selling way. the wrong yeah, house. That's yeah. true. We're all just telling stories in a different way. So, so yours was go with myths, go with the, the natural sort of circumstances that happen in transactions and try and debunk them, be the educator. Yeah. But doing it to a trending song, doing 100%. it with all the, the hacks of, of TikTok. Exactly. Yours is be your authentic self and introduce yourself, yeah. right? I love that. What's yours? What's their first 10 videos? So I think that you've got to be really instructional. Mm -hmm. People want instructions. If you look at what people look at the most, it's how to this. Right. Or what happens if this. Mm -hmm. So answering those questions and being able to be very specific mm -hmm. when you're answering them. Right. So if you go buy a car while you're in the mortgage process, Never. this is a bad thing. Sure and this is what will happen. And so, you know, we had this lady under contract. We're three days prior to closing. The lender does the soft pull prior to closing. She bought a car. It threw her debt to income ratio off. She couldn't close. She lost her $1,800 in earnest money. Right. And, and her house. And, and she didn't right. get the Hello. house. She's right. still in she an apartment. She has a car though. But yeah. she's got a car. She's got a car. Yeah. But that's the thing is like, yeah. I think that, I think that you overthink, like, what am I going to talk about? You're a real estate agent, for God's right. sake. Like you should have how many shit people to talk about you, for years. How many questions do you get asked every single day, every yeah. single month? Can I bring right. up something you just did though? That's it, You just did it. it just, what everyone needs to hear. You debunked a myth, but you attached an emotional story to it. Bingo. You attached a real life experience to it. And right. you probably in the actual video used a strong hook out of how, you know, someone's new four wheel drive got them out of their, you know, $4 million house. Yeah, cost like them that. their yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. So, and then you tell yeah. the the cautionary tale. If you yeah. have $1,800 to lose, <laughs> yeah. you should definitely buy a car yeah. in the middle of the I have the perfect way you yeah. can lose $1,800 and get a brand new car. Yeah. Like, and yeah. then. Yeah. And lose your house in the process. <laughs> Hopefully the back seat's comfy because that's where you're sleeping. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you tell your spouse the reason why you didn't get the house because you really wanted that new car. You really wanted the Lexus. You got some stimulus money and you suddenly thought, I'm going to buy a new car <laughs> in the middle of escrow. Yeah. When the lender said my credit was that good, I figured I should get a car too. <laughs> I was on I'm Credit on. Karma. Today's show is brought to you by That mortgage Credit guy Karma. told me to get a car. <laughs> I literally put that video out like probably every other week. I do a, a different trending sound about that or just like right. opening a, a new trade one. line. And every other week or every week I have clients that ask me yeah. and it's part of our like onboarding process when they start don't the application. Buy. Don't find We send a video out to our clients And too. they still ask me. I'm like, I don't know how many times like I have the, to say don't, this. Don't drink before your surgery. That, like, was, the video that, that yeah. was the video that Jason showed at Elite Retreat. Was to me talk? Uh, was that working out the gym? And then I, I saw my client, who was uh, Rob, who was the guy who got me into TikTok. Oh, so yeah, all connected. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was he bought a car before closing. Oh, I guess just, God, that's perfect. an easy one. Okay, yeah. so so let, that brings up a good subject, which is so a lot of people are always looking for the new idea. You basically said, if I heard you correctly, once a week you're reminding people of the same story. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I think I have, I don't even know how many videos, it's gotta be close to 2000. Um, but I'm really just kind of regurgitating the same content into new trends because right. I, I'm out of things to talk about. I mean, here and there, I'll come up with different things. I'm like, oh, I like that. Like, I haven't talked about that, but it's maybe once or twice a week. Right. There's just only so many mistakes you can make <sighs> yeah. from getting a mortgage. Yeah, right? but I mean, it's still performing well. I still have engagement, so I am just continuing that, but I feel like I need to figure out a series or but, something else that I can how, sprinkle in. So. Yeah. And, and, but going to that, but how many people on TikTok, and you know this too, do the same damn thing every single time? Over, right. Like over. nearly word right. for word, move oh, for yeah. move almost. Same sound, and same everything. Same everything. everything. Yep. They, just, they have their own trend. They have their own thing. They're consistent. They, yep. Like you don't have to have a new. But think about Michaela, who Michaela. has 9 million followers, the makeup artist. Mm -hmm. I don't follow makeup artists. I'm sorry. Well, but no. Those, he also those, has flat hair. Yeah, he does not have black hair. Yeah. Um, I've all the blow dry guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but think about it. She's got 9 million followers. And every day, all she's doing is putting on makeup. Makeup. Yeah. And she's got 9 million, million followers. followers. Now, this is a little but girl. But Glenda, people put on makeup basically every day. They don't buy a house every day. So maybe there's something to that. No, but hello. If 9 million people are watching her put on makeup, right. how many people over. should be watching me talk shit about real estate? I think that like, speaks to how simplistic TikTok is. Right. I agree. And yeah. that's the you thing. talk about a potato and people are like, oh, the potato. 
Right. And like, it's trending. This is the thing. Is that Red sometimes, flag. sometimes she does the makeup with like really crazy colors on her eyes. Sometimes right. she does the natural look. So sometimes they need a conventional loan. Sometimes they need FHA. Right. Sometimes yeah. they need right. VA. And this is the thing is the way that you position it for one person. Mm -hmm. This person may not hear it or understand mm -hmm. it or consume it. So the more you tell the same the same content and package it differently. Yeah. Because like for me, if you sent me a present, I want it packaged in sparkle paper. Mm -hmm. But if you sent that same gift, <laughs> here you go. And if, you, if you sent that same gift to Zach, are you packaged uh, with a flamethrower? Yeah. Are you packaging it in brown paper? Right. So that's the thing is like, it's how wow, I got downgraded straight to brown paper bag. <laughs> Jesus. It's the mic, man. I assume you're just going to say like whole... normal gift wrap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeez. I'm doing that experience. Work with me here, Zach. I'm actually going to so, throw it at your door. <laughs> <structured> paper. <laughs> but Everything's got to be very animated. The thing about it is, is that you're, you're packaging it differently. Yes. And we're going to just stay on point. <laughs> Until I interrupted her. Not Would blood. you just stop? You're getting on my <laughs> Wait, this is, hey, this is my show. <laughs> oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this sorry about that. Glenn is not used <laughs> to not being the star. I know. I say, there's <laughs> only one star of this show, baby. And yeah, it's so right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Welcome to the Glenn Baker Show. <laughs> well, thanks for having me as a guest. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I'm a real estate agent in Atlanta. Good Lord. <laughs> 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 Have you ever sold a, you ever sold a big ass house? You ever sold a big ass house? Exactly. With a flat hair. Can you mute yourself when we're speaking, please? Okay, but you're your point is well taken in that we can take the same content. Like, I mean, how many times have you heard me talk about a mega open house? I've been talking about it since 2010. The modifications, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And what I love is when people walk up and they say, well, let me tell you how I made it actually better. I'm like, well, you probably heard it from me 38 times. And then you did it. Then I hit you. And then you tweaked it. Then you adjusted it. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Right. right? And that's the thing is you want them to take that one bite mm -hmm. and, and own it. And once they take it, mm -hmm. you've got them. Yeah. And yeah. so for me, however I have to package it to get them to take the bite, mm -hmm. they come for the plot, they stay for the character. Yeah. Yeah. I, what I, does that mean? I was gonna speak English on that one, but. So. <laughs> Tell us. I was gonna translate. Okay, you go ahead. Yes, yeah. hook, hook them in and they're there for the story. Well, right. Yeah, it's like the cupcake. I mean, it's like they, the they, cupcake. They, like the they, they love right. the way that it looks. And then they take a bite of it and they're like, oh, that's really good. good. And they take another one. Mm -hmm. And then when they're done with that, if they really enjoy the experience, they're going to come back for more. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so that's exactly what I'm trying to get them to do. Mm -hmm. Number one, I want them to fall in love with the package. Number two, I want them to enjoy the taste. Right. And then I want to I want them to leave wanting more. And that's the people that come every morning that look for the video. Yes. Every uh -huh. single day. Uh -huh. Just TikTok about your dating advice. Okay, so let's the, talk about that. TikTok there is, is the, there, there is the the three second rule on all things video. Yep. If it's not interesting immediately, so what, like think of it, like being tactical for a second here. So if you don't hook somebody immediately, whether it's like, did I tell you the first time I went to prison? Like immediately. Yeah. I've how used many times that as, have I've already used, been to prison? Like first right. like, right? I told that story. If you don't have that hook, so yeah. how do you guys create the hook? So, I mean, you got to pick the the engaging piece mm -hmm. that's going to leave somebody wanting more. Like yep. this one time I sold the wrong house. Okay, right. tell me how the hell what? you did that. Once, once upon a time. Once, once upon, upon a time. time. My yeah. apologies. Yes. So like, for example, I've told the story of how I wrote the business plan for Law for Realty in prison. Right. And they're like, huh? Say and again. then like 15 seconds in, so I was a Department of Corrections officer, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Because all they heard is, Zach was in jail? Yeah. But right? now they're 15 seconds in, they want to hear the rest of the story. Yes. You know, I've told, I got kicked out of Planet Fitness. I got permaband. I recently got right. my membership right. back. Yes. Because I brought in a gallon, yes. uh, bought a jug of water. They're like, you can't have that. I'm like, just show me a rule. And they right. couldn't. And so I got, but I, when I started the story, I said, I want to tell you how the police were called to me over water. And so people are like, okay. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> yeah. Right. Or like with my wife recently, I bought her this giant 12 foot skeleton we were talking I about for Halloween. I loved that video. Yeah. And the whole time for like 30 seconds, the viewers didn't know what the hell it was. It was yeah, just this giant box. box sitting in our driveway and my wife freaking out over it. And at the very end, I show her standing with it all giddy. Mm -hmm. So like, or the daughter picking up the couch. That like, was still legendary. It's just about yeah. those first two to three seconds. We got to hook them. Yeah, it so. might be halves of seconds mm -hmm. in the next five years. Our intention spans are getting shorter and right. shorter. And we mentioned this yesterday, and this is a whole different topic on long form, but also getting longer and longer. I feel that middle zone mm -hmm. of like two to eight is really starting to disappear. And people only want 
I can watch 15 minute videos a minute, or I want to sit and watch you for an hour. Bingo. Yeah. Short, long. Yeah. Right. There's it's, no middle. It's, it's like the middle class of video. Four hour podcast, or I, I'll give you four seconds. Gary V. Right. Eight hour vlog. <laughs> right. Oh that was a legend. Yes. That he had a 52% watch rate on. Right. Wow. Right. Nasty. Because right. Same. You can't look away. You yeah. can't. I mean, because yeah. they're invested in him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and I think, and this Hi, is Gary. kind of what I'm thinking next is to take those short form and say, if you want to know the real story behind once upon a time, I sold a big ass house, yeah. go to my YouTube channel Bingo. so I can tell you all of the details. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, do, I do that on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Idea. I would say I would probably go to Instagram because the conversion is easier off Instagram than it is from YouTube. Um, Spoken from the guy so with 500,000 people on YouTube. I'm and like, it's tough to host people on it, YouTube because it is. there's no DMing it's, system or anything like that. It is purely, <clears throat> YouTube is like ABC. It's just a channel. It's TV. Right? Yeah. But it's like a legit, like there's just, it's hard to convert, right? Um, what's your hook? What's my hook when? Yes. <laughs> Every time you're, okay, what's your hook? What do you do to hook people immediately? So I tell them like, what was the problem? Like, yeah. like what was like mm -hmm. when I saw, like when I sold the wrong house? Yes. Okay, but, but when the guy showed up naked. Yeah. Naked? I heard naked. that too. Naked. Do you not watch my TikTok channel? I do, but how's that spelled? <laughs> N-E-K. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, I just want to be clear. Yes, yeah. so, I did. Naked. But, naked. but the, guy, the guy meant to be there. We're going to yes. show your house at one o'clock. You're going right. to be here at one o'clock. Right. There's not a range. No, yeah. you're the first house. Yeah. And he's like, okay, no problem. We walk in, we're walking through the house mm -hmm. and he opens the master bedroom door naked as a jaybird. Right. <laughs> and, and it was a single mother. She was behind me. I was in front <clears throat> and she goes, I've right. seen enough. This is I don't even small. see how a jaybird could be. I, I just was oh really the roll. I just, I just I right. Just, <laughs> it's just every time I feel I've heard all your Glendaisms, there's yeah. just another she drops one like that seven bombs. just hits me out of left field. Yeah. Best advice for the hook. <laughs> I would say, for, yeah, I mean, my hook, it depends on like the content and the information that I'm going to have in it. So <clears throat> if it's a myth or something that is misconstrued by the consumer, like I'll point that out. That'll yeah. be the hook. Yeah. Um, like, you know, it, I did one yesterday about credit karma. So it just kind of depends on like the information and mm -hmm. how I'm spinning it. But, but similar have, to like what. Do you have a formula? Yes. Is it is it a provocative question? To some extent, right? yeah. I have a list of about a hundred hooks that I've kind of oh, written down. Oh, I have a list, list of a hundred hooks. hooks. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I just kind of talking about a hook, right? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't quite systemized it, but here's my check. Here's my <laughs> and number seventy three is per currently performing at the best. My great. list written in Sharpie. Okay, so, so the reason why <laughs> I asked that, like, so, so I got super interested in language and language's impact on the mind and how that can help somebody break through something, perform better. So I got into neuro-linguistic programming and in the early days of learning NLP, I would write 50 to 60 sentences a day using 38 different patterns. And people like, well, how'd you come so good at it? Well, I don't know. I, for a year and a half, I wrote 50 sentences a day and then, yeah. you know, oh, that was a really Part good script. Vocabulary. Well, I, you know, I've kind of worked on this a little bit. Yeah. So I think people listening right now, like it, it's, you, you got to get out of the myth of like, oh, I just snap these things out. Like I write. Yeah. You clearly write. It takes time. Right? You're capturing and then saying, okay, how do we want to do this? And I think you just kind of do it naturally, just to be honest. I, I do have a formula. It's yeah, I just call it the thirst method. Title, hook, interest, reframe, story, tell, target. Oh, there's a formula. Say yeah. it again, please. Uh, so title, yeah. what's going to be like, this is right. basically Look defining. Linda is taking notes. She's like, title, good. The, like your caption, the first split yes. second. Right. It's literally telling the audience, is this for you? Right, because you want the right audience watching. Yeah. Hook first two seconds. Are you keeping their attention to want to watch more? Right. Interest. Are you talking about something that's actually going to interest the audience? Mm -hmm. Reframe. That's kind of like talking about like, hey, water, cops. Then I backtrack. Okay, so I went in the Planet Fitness. Blah blah blah. Yeah, right. Similar to any YouTube video, they do right. their they do their. Uh -huh. We're about to break a world record, like Dude Perfect or something, and right. then they go through all these eighteen other shots. Like, yeah. Let's throw the ball off the stadium right, right. now. <laughs> exactly. Um, exactly. F. Yeah. Storytell, okay. which right. you don't need to learn any. Um, but storytell, I mean, if you're having interesting content, you're not actually relaying it in a proper format yep. that you know people want to listen to. And then target. What's the point of the video? Trying to get a follow, a like, engagement, comment. Go. go to my Instagram. Go to my YouTube. How do you or know you, if it worked? Yeah. Right. Exactly. So that's the kind of the method I follow. I love it. That's a little precise. Is that what you were thinking? Exactly. Do you also measure like what your hair looked like and what you were wearing? I don't. No, <laughs> I don't. I was, I'm trying to I was messing with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do have a look though. Yeah, I mean, I you kind of have a look because if I, I saw like you in a white beater yeah. tank top and like 
like yeah. ripped jeans, I'd be like, that's not you. Yeah, yeah I mean, I have like yeah. a casual look. He and is I the think mortgage guy. The business, it's business casual. That's yeah, purpose. and yeah. I feel like that goes with my brand, whereas like I I wouldn't vibe with a suit, like suit and tie, like that's not me. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I mean, I think I have that look, but it's, I don't put a lot of thought into it. It's just how I dress. Yeah. Anyway. Right, so. right. You're being you, yeah. authentically bingo. you. Authentically you. Exactly. And that's bingo, what people bingo, are bingo, buying bingo. into because yeah. people don't buy product, they buy people. Right, right. That's right. That's true. right. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so let's wrap this with best advice going into the new year, 2022, whenever they're listening to this, who cares? Like best advice for the year. Figure out who you are. That's a tall order, by the way, for a quick piece of advice. But it's the truth. Deep. And it's the, it right. Deep. But it's the go it's, smoke weed, meditate for four no, days and answer over and over. Who I got the first I? part down, but not the rest. Four it's days the, or weed? The weed. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding for people watching. My sons are watching. No. But it's the easiest thing for you to do. And if you're trying to be me or you're trying to yeah. be Scott or you're yes. trying to be Zach, like I tried to be Zach with the zoom in mm -hmm. and I looked ridiculous. So, ridiculous. so you can't take, um, you can't take what somebody else is doing and rip off their head and put yours on. That's not going to work. And the, and people aren't going to buy into that. Is there a process though? So this is actually something that I've talked about with a lot of people, right? Like multiple podcasts, lots of interviews, um, helping somebody figure out their it factor. Yeah. Like what is it authentically about you that you can take and amplify and make your story? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's tough. I feel like it comes down to self-awareness, you yeah. know, and just knowing what you're good at. Like for me, I'm sarcastic. Like I have a dry sense of humor and that kind of shines through with yeah. a lot of my content. So. And don't be afraid to show it. Exactly. Don't be afraid. And amplify yeah. it Don't be too. afraid. And then, you know, Brett, I was going to bring back another sports analogy. It's like, you don't walk onto a basketball court thinking, I'm going to be a slasher. Like you have to play the game. It's put in the reps. You have to learn the right. fundamentals. Right. And then you're like, oh, I actually have really good ball handling. Right. You know, I probably shouldn't be down low. Mm -hmm. Like. Same with anything. So I feel you have to get in the gym yeah. to learn what you're good at. You have to get right. shooting exactly. content before you realize, oh, people really love my stars and stripes. People right. really love my Glendisms. You know, yeah. right. you know, people really like my style. People yeah. really like them. So I think you got to do it. And the yeah. thing I, I want to stress too is, and don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to Big try. Right. Just be mindful of trying to be someone else. Yeah. I see a lot of people like trying to be Gary Vee. And I'm just like, oh, I think that's a problem. Just, just be you. Our three levels face and, and yourself is once you've got thanks your for, niche. Thanks for bringing me into your club. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So well, yeah, you posted a TikTok last night, so you're with us now. Yeah. It's yeah. That. But when you do get the following and you do have your niche, right. then it can become frightening to try something else. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, my audience is You don't want to deviate. Yeah. Like if you were to get it's on true. and talk, like do the talking head. Yep. That you, you said yesterday, like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. But you don't know. Maybe there's a whole subsection of your See, audience that would love it. Exactly. That's true. I, well, that's why I'm constantly, constantly testing have to too. challenge yourself. You've you have got to, to test. constantly like I'm throwing away everything I'm doing right now and all like basically everything except for my podcast going in the trash and starting like four new shows next year. That's dope. Like that's just awesome. and like, oh, how I'm like, don't worry about it. It'll either work or it won't. Right. And if it doesn't work, we'll try something new. Hey, you just know yeah. it doesn't work. Right. Exactly. But if you don't like if you get I call it the Chuck Berry syndrome, like people get stuck like Chuck Berry, like marriage, like these guys don't know marriage just yeah. across the, you know, across the stage, doing his move over and over again, one song over and over again. And everybody knows him as that. Right. Right. I never want that. Yeah. Right. One hit right? wonder. I don't yeah. want to be the one. Hit, and, and he had multiple hits, but like he had his thing and it just never stopped. Yeah. You with me? Where like, so you look at like my musical heroes or people like this. Right, like David Bowie, who just evolved through multiple identities, if you will, because right. he was constantly searching for not for the audience, for himself. Freddie Mercury, right? right? Freddie Mercury. He like, was he growing built. with himself. A hundred, and he also yeah. said, "I got tired of being Ziggy Stardust." Yeah. Right. I got tired of that. I wanted to try something new. I wanted to express myself in a different way. So you know, there there is a conversation of like, hey, every eighteen months, you have to innovate. You have right. To. Look look at every professional comedian. Mm -hmm. They're like the really really good ones. Like they go basically on a two year run with one story and then it ends and they start a whole new series. Yeah. And it doesn't just, it, by the way, the way they do it, if you listen to all the comedians, they're like, I stopped doing everything. I stopped being funny. Then I can come up with like five minutes worth of content and I start like on my spouse and my friends, right? And oh, okay, that kind of got a laugh. Okay. Then it goes to 10 minutes. Then maybe they'll jump on a stage someplace and do a random 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Does the audience respond? And this goes for months and months and months and months and months before they actually go on tour. It's a science. Before they do the actual big arena shows, before they do the Netflix show. And then they kill it and start the whole thing over again. And yet, 
many people get caught up in the, well, once I've done it this way. Coming right. from someone who's comfortable with a mic, I couldn't imagine doing stand up. That's terrifying. <laughs> you should do it. Stand you should up. just get five minutes. You know what? January Elite. <laughs> I love it. I got a month to write content. Yes. Get to right. work. All right. Get I'm to on work. It. Um so, or just interview Glenda and then it's just perfect. Yeah, it'll be perfect. It'll be great. So that's where Denver mm -hmm. has also brought so much value to me. Right. And probably your team as mm -hmm. well is someone who's inspiring you mm -hmm. and they're challenging you. Because Denver brought me this idea, Realtor Reacts. And I'm like, that's stupid. I don't want to do that. Yeah. And he's like, He's like, let's just try it. Let's just let's just right. try it. Test. Worst, worst case Test. scenario, it's terrible. Yeah. And and so the big ass has kind of become a Glendaism. Mm -hmm. And so um ask or ass? Ass. Big okay, ass. I just want to make sure. You know, okay, big yeah. ass house. Yeah, big ass house. Okay, and so sure. so we did Glenda react a realtor reacts to big ass houses in LA. Yeah. And oh, Denver, that's right. Denver shows me mm -hmm. five houses that that's are a really gazillion good. dollars. Right. And I talk about them. Yep. And you will really? not believe the engagement with that. It's oh, for been sure. insane. People Huge. love houses. Yeah, they like, love houses. It's bonkers. And right? they want to see house like, porn, right? Like yeah. it's all of that. It's true. And they want to see, and I'm like, and I'm like, and the property taxes are five hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. Like, what are you and doing? People are like, my house is worth four hundred. I know. Right? But so but again, you're introducing and exposing them to all this stuff, and it's yeah. your reaction. I do love that. Yeah. We were actually trying to wrap up the podcast. Oh, sorry about that. So most important <laughs> advice, you said, we only got to Glenda, then we went yeah. into this like great sorry. tangential, like the whole other podcast. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be, find, figure out who you are and don't be afraid to be yourself. For me, my, my trajectory changed mm -hmm. when I wasn't afraid to show myself. Right. Because yeah. I had just- Just being vulnerable. Yeah, I had tried yeah. so hard to be perfect, yeah. that post to be perfect. And people don't connect with perfection. No. No. They connect with you, right. the real you. Right. And I think that people are tired of scripted reality. They mm. want real reality oh my today. Gosh, yes. 100%. Oh, the yeah. days they charge for that tip, Tom Ferry. <clears throat> <laughs> the days where I say like I'm having a bad day <laughs> or I'm stressed <laughs> or didn't get the listing or stuff like that, that gets the most response, oh, most you're engagement. So, Zach, you're so great. If we were going to sell our house, we would sell our house <laughs> with you. Don't feel bad that you didn't get one, two, three, banana street. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm serious. It happened. Yeah. I cry. Yeah. The lady was so mean to me. And they're like, oh, Glenda. I mean, flowers at yeah. my office. I right. mean, it's amazing. People right. show up at our office uh, and like, is that yeah. here? I'm like, no, I'm not. Does he have, <laughs> does he have the flame flow? <laughs> <laughs> okay, best advice going forward. Get in the gym. Just start putting them reps. Put right. the camera in front of you. Even if they're ghost reps, put the camera in front of you and yes. write a letter that you're never going to send. Right. Just Put the camera in front of you. Get used to talking to that piece of right. glass. Right. Um, because ultimately, like we're having this conversation or you're going to have an amazing conversation, a listing appointment with a seller, buyer. Someone walks up to you in Target or Walmart if you're not bougie yeah. and says, hey, man, what's up with the mortgage industry? You're not going to run into a bathroom, change your hair, change your outfit, right. test your voice, put on some cologne and then walk back out and see that they're gone. Yeah. You're just going to. Sorry, I'm just cursed. You're going to talk for video. <laughs> you're going to talk to them. Yeah. Yes. But in, I that's think, what people miss, though. Yeah. But. They but, think they look different in person than they do on video right. and they sound different than they sound on video. And if you right. just acknowledge how many people you talk to every day, if you're actually in the game and you're out there talking to people and doing your job, it's the same exact, it's same the water cooler thing. conversation, Scaling. it's the quick caver, you know, casual conversation. How's the business man? What's going on? And you answer that question, yeah. it's that over and over again. Yeah. So put in the reps, <clears throat> be authentically you. I was going to touch on both of those, but I'll <laughs> say, hey, um, for me, you know, two or three years ago, I really had to stop giving a shit what people thought about me um right. you know and that right. is just such a like big coach. piece to it so mm -hmm. just let go you know people are going to judge you anyway the reality is you're just you're going to have your tribe gravitate to you Bingo. more and that's Bingo. what's going to happen at the end of the day and Can let I, them judge your eight thousand leads right, right. You're, you're, eighteen thousand no, eighteen thousand leads eight thousand applications Patience. yeah like let's say that, that once that. again for the people in the back right. eight thousand applications with an average credit score of 640 or better also, oh, yeah. it should not have taken until me meeting at you zero here. Cost. Praise at the zero, Lord and pass the money. At zero cost, right. Yeah. Praise the Lord and pass the money. It shouldn't have been until I met you here from TikTok <laughs> to realize you have 19 inch arms. 19 inch <laughs> arms. <laughs> Just FYI, I should have known that ahead of time. If you don't start doing some I've been, this content. I've been, I've been working out a little bit. I'm trying to get out. back. Yeah. 
Let's I did it. I did that one trend. Please. Did you? I'm, I'm gonna right. do it myself or whatever with like the Thanos sound. Oh, I'll do it myself. Yeah, I did that oh. one like a few months back because I had a little transformation this year. Oh, okay. I'm working hard. Yeah, at you it. did. Okay. You, I, you know what? I did see that video. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It wasn't fitness, but it showed the journey. 100%. Right. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. I'm just trying to be fat. All right. So as too, we man. yeah, as we wrap this up. Um, first of all, okay. thank you all. I know we have a mastermind we have to go to. So everyone that's watching right now, they've heard us reference over and over again this mastermind thing. So I almost ended the podcast, but I want to ask one more question. What was the most important thing you guys got out of yesterday? For me, thinking bigger, you know, and just uh, you, we, we get caught in the trenches. And I, I think just having bigger minds and just being in that ecosystem really opened my eyes. Yeah. So yeah. that's cool. Spanning your thinking. I love that. Same route, expanded. I, I just furthering the thought that video and content marketing is art. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's why it's, it, it takes even some of the most influential video marketers being in the same room to look at each other and be like, there isn't exactly a way to systemize everything in this. There is a lot right. of art. There are a bunch right. of different artists that are sitting in that room that have their own styles, their own mm -hmm. flows, their own mm -hmm. strokes, yeah. their own color yeah, schemes. Yeah. So it's just amazing to be in a room filled with different perspectives, different attacks, different mm -hmm. approaches, because mm -hmm. um, we can always glean a little bit off of everybody. Yeah. And everybody is successful doing it. Everybody and there was yeah. there was three distinct camps, and then there's probably fifteen little nuanced mm -hmm. camps of ways of doing it, which was just insane. What about for you? Well, I was intimidated to come because I'm I the meant. oldest. I knew that I was going to be the oldest person here. Yeah, and I was like, you know, these young bucks. Uh -huh. What what am I going to be able to bring in value? Yeah, because you know they are the future of the business, and yeah. I am the past. So I'm. Um, I don't think so. I right, <laughs> no, but right. I, in my head, Maxine Gellin's right now. Like, bitch, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah, but three in, social medias from now, when there's that new thing going on, people are gonna think in their head, you know, Glenda killed it on TikTok early. I should do, you know, walk with her right, early right. But, but that tells you that like the scariest place is in your own head because I would I came here completely intimidated, worried that I wouldn't be able to bring any value to the group, and so for me, I think that seeing seeing that not only that I'm relevant, mm -hmm. but to see the relevancy and the level of influence within the room mm -hmm. and how the how we're all collaborating together, right. how they're drawing value from me, how I'm drawing value from them. Right. To me, that, I, I told Katie Day last night, I said, it's proximity to power. Yep. And the power is in the collaboration between all of us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have a unique ability right now because we are the voice of real estate on social media. Do Bingo. you understand that? Yeah. And so for me, it was just, it was an awakening and it was a mm -hmm. reminder mm -hmm. that, um, that the OG is still extremely relevant in the room. I love Let's it. go. <laughs> what a way to close. All right, so hey, thank you so much for watching or listening. <laughs> Uh, I, like, comment, share. How fast did he do that? Brad's like, you know, like, comment, share. Blah, 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 blah. Like, he was fast. Like, like, comment, share, hit the bell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I really have to learn how to do that. Anyway, hey, thank you so much for listening or for watching. And I appreciate you guys all so much. Let's go back and mastermind. All right. Thank See you. See you. We're out. <laughs>